Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. So happy Monday and let's get the week going. So thank our members, Silami, Astropub, Diaf and Chalars. Thank you all of our Fishpad members and let's get into it. So today we are flying out the Kafir C7, so an aircraft that is very interesting, very fun and kind of limited but not really in a lot of senses, you know. Uh, so yeah, this is the normal tactic that I use to get the most amount of points. I just bomb uh, at the first, I mean the, at the start of the match, you know, and then after that I try to go hunting. Um, you will see many loadouts that I'm using with two AIM-9Gs or AIM-9 or foreign AIM-9Gs and some bombs and stuff, uh, and using the Mark 83 bombs. So yeah, uh, it is a very effective tactic to actually get this thing, you know, fully upgraded and stuff like that. And it is basically the Pride, the, the last aircraft that you can get in Israel. Uh, it has its problems that I'm going to talk about, but first let's talk about its good things. I mean, the first good thing is obviously the speed. It is basically a Mirage uh, 3 with its own, if it's the, the, the main problem of the Mirage 3 is the engine, obviously. Uh, losing a lot of speed when turning and stuff like that, the Kafir kind of fixes that, you know. Um, it really does fixes that. It fixes that. Uh, it really is a very very good aircraft. Um, it's just it has its problems, but it is very very fast. It turns very well. Uh, it is the normal Mirage 3, but with canards and stuff like that. Uh, the, the engine instead of the snack my engine is the J79 made by GE. Uh, the same engine that you see in the F-104, in the F-4. So it is a very, very strong engine. Produces way more power than the old snack engine. But still, um, it loses a lot of speed while turning. So you still have to be careful with that, obviously. But now it's a little bit better. You know, it's just a lot better, actually. Um, so this is the main thing. It's a Mirage, so it turns very well. Turns very, like, really, really well. And it has a very, very good amount of power. Uh, another thing that is good is its payload, uh, that not too much into in the air-to-air -air department, but in the air-to-ground department can carry many types of bombs and stuff. That's why I'm using bombs to get actually get a lot of points in here. I was trying to uh, finish the research on this aircraft. He, I mean, it was missing some of the the air-to-ground stuff. So yeah. But if you don't uh, want to get points, you just want to fly the aircraft, it's fine by using 4 a 9s uh, And that's the main point that I'm going to talk about in this video. And the main problem with this aircraft, the air-to-air -air weapons are kind of limited. Uh, first of all, you only have the DEFA cannons, which are kind of limited, if you know uh, the, all the other French aircraft and similar aircraft. They have the DEFA cannons and they are very, very limited sometimes. The range is less than a kilometer, uh, the muzzle velocity is pretty low, and yeah, to be honest, it's not its not a very good cannon. Uh, in general, there's a lot of people that likes it, uh, but it's not very good. So you rely a lot on your, um, on your missiles, and the missiles that you have are very limited as well. So you only have the Chiffre 2s, the AIM-9Ds and the AIM-9Gs. Uh, obviously, you have to use the M9Gs because they are the best uh, of these three. Uh, but still, they are very limited. You know, the M9Gs, it's not a very good missile against turning aircraft. It burns for a long time and it has a very good range. Uh, but it is a thing that you have to be careful because it is not a very, very good missile. Uh, the main features of it is obviously the range and the ability to actually just... Um, ignore flares, the M9G is very good at that, um, but you know, it's it's limited in its performance, you know. Uh, I still think that you can play very well, and that's one of the things that I want to talk about in this in this game, uh, it, in this video to be honest, it is the difference between needing something in War Thunder and actually uh, something that should be added because it should be added, you know. So I think uh, War Thunder tends to put ammunitions and uh, missiles and stuff like that as a balancing factor and to be honest I'm fine with it but 
it is kind of a problem sometimes because you ended up getting only things that need to be in game and what happens is you have very advanced stuff with very old ammunition or very old missiles and stuff like that that happens a lot in tanks uh, now it's a little bit less than it was back in the day but it always happened in, in tanks and stuff uh, but in aircraft we are facing that a lot we have that with the F-14 for example with the MiG-23 MLD and MLA we have this problem with these aircraft uh, so um, what I'm proposing obviously uh, even though it probably doesn't need to you know uh, I mean the statistics of these aircraft is probably very very good because it is a, the performance of these aircraft is amazing I mean you can beat basically anything in a dogfight if you know what you're doing I'm not the most expert pilot in the Kafir but still you can basically beat everything uh, and the missiles are kind of limiting your performance there so uh, the missile that we should be getting in the future would be the Python 3 which is a very 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 capable missile it's a missile that it's actually already in game right now uh, which is funny but it was not added to any aircraft I mean it was added in a in a in a dev server if I'm not mistaken for the for the J8 as the PL8 and uh, for the I don't remember exactly was some files were in the in the game you know uh, and the Python 3 is just an amazing missile all aspect you know kind of in the same range I mean it would be like between uh, an R60M and an R73 it's inferior to the R73 but it is way superior to the R60M uh, probably like the 9L but better uh, it has a boost I mean a, a burner and then a booster and it burns for a long time four seconds basically so yeah it's very very good missile uh, but maybe this breaks the game so the question is do you think this missile should be added or not because I think it should because Israel to be honest has this problem of not having anything like really really meta to be honest you know the FRE that we have doesn't have anything out of the ordinary it just has a 9G's and aim 7 a 2s and stuff doesn't have aim 7f doesn't have anything like that and the kafir doesn't have anything like that as well it doesn't even have a radar you know it has a a very annoying uh radar gun sight that actually slaves the missile uh to it so sometimes you and without it if you turn it off you just cannot for some reason use it so it is very annoying uh to use this radar gun sight as you saw on the video uh, you have to get a lock with the greater gun sight to actually have a, a proper lock with the uh, a, a proper lock with the with the M9, which is kind of weird. And it's not something that it needs to be added, you know. Um, but I think it should be added because it will make Israel kind of meta, you know. I think we have some aircraft that should be uh, getting new missiles, uh, as I said on a previous video the FRM and the F4K which are the FGR2 and the FG1 and obviously the F4F for the Germans uh, they all should get new missiles and I think the Kafir should probably join them at least maybe maybe the F4E but uh, I know that people are kind of scared of all aspect missiles depending on the on the way the missiles are uh, and there are a lot of people that are complaining that the M9L, for example, is nerfed or the R60M is nerfed. nerfed. Uh, but I, I really think that we should get um, more stuff like this. I mean, I think we sh it, it doesn't it doesn't actually change the game a whole lot, to be honest. You know, uh, the R60M, for example, an amazing missile. I really love it, and you get a lot of kills that you would not get with the normal R60. But it it doesn't make it so that the missile is so OP that it's, you know, so easy to fly. And the same goes for the M9L. It's a pain in the ass when you are uh, flying against an, an A-10 when you are flying an F-8E FN that doesn't have flares, obviously. But beyond that, you, all aircraft have uh, the, 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 the flares and st stuff. And it becomes just a matter of being aware that a missile is coming to you and stuff like that so I really think that we should get missiles like that uh, to a certain specific aircraft you know and especially when 4th uh, gen is coming and the BR compression is a thing 
uh, it will make these aircraft very very bad if they don't add it so uh, for me personal opinion maybe not now like today but very 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 soon and how did I miss that um, I think the Kafir should be getting the Python 3's and more <coughs> excuse me and more aircraft should be getting more missiles uh, I think they should fix this radar gun sight thing which is kind of weird but you know and here we are facing two F-14s which is always a difficult thing to win but as you saw if the, the, the other guy didn't got into the fight we would win so the, the, the Kafir is very very good it's just that the weaponry of it in air to air combat is kind of limited sometimes and I just wish we had a little bit more of a effective missile to fight better than name 9G because come on name 9G's in top tiers are really bad made one crash uh, but I will ended up dying for that guy because yeah it, we are damaged but anyway uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this subject if the Kafir should be getting the Python 3 or not or any missile to be honest uh, and yeah I see you guys on the next one and I hope you enjoyed so bye guys see you